I know, I know. No, I'm really not. Oh, God. Hello, everybody. Oh, oh, oh wow, that's, a, that's this amazing is... start. Hello, everybody, and welcome to a chaotic live stream already. Where did this come from? Um, where, where did, did this come, come from? Where did you go? I'm guessing it's that. Oh, uh, no, it came from here. It's fine. Hi, how is everybody doing? I hope you're well. Welcome to the live stream. Um, I have, I'm using a different angle. And I'm in my kitchen. This is the downstairs department where the cooking and eating generally happens. But um, upstairs is so warm that I don't think either of us necessarily wanted to be upstairs. Far too warm. I don't know how good the audio is. So let me know what that's like. It's probably a bit more echoey than usual. The, the microphone is far away. I've just realised that that might be an issue. I may have to shout at you. Hello, everybody. Nah, you can see on the screen because our uh, camera doesn't drop it, so it's oh, definitely, no, uh, definitely yeah. doing it. So I think we're all yeah, good. Yeah, it's probably just a little bit more echoey, but just due to the heat wave, um, I just felt like I didn't want to melt into a puddle in front of you all, so it would probably be better to, yeah, to see. Film it from here. Yeah, see, audio's fine. Cool. cool. Hello, hello, Excellent. Eggy, egg, eggy, eggy, eggy. AB Bricks, hello, uh, Bryce. Brick of Picks. Ali for Gamer, hi. Also, welcome to the membership club. So good to have you. Bronx DDT. Awesome, awesome. Everybody's Christian here. M. Yes, AB Bricks, uh, I am here. I am Amiga here for Man now. is here as well. It's just our crew. Oh, yeah, there's Amiga Man. Our crew is holding out. You can see that I'm maybe slightly impatient and I couldn't stop myself because I've started the build already. It's partially because I thought, oh, it's fine. It comes with two books. But also because last time I didn't even manage to build one entire bag of the um, brick bank. I felt like it'd probably be okay if I started. And, um... Oh, I think you're allowed. It's exciting. It's exciting. I love this set. Hello to you too, bricks and mortar. Hello, how are you doing, Jamey? Hope you're good. Okay, so... AB Bricks, yes, yes they do. Everyone needs to smash the like button. Smash that like button. And the subscribe button if you haven't already. Thanks, Ben. This is why I keep you around. Yeah, I've proven my worth. Absolutely, already. Yeah. So, right, I'm gonna just go to the right step. So, so. How are you wearing a three quarter length sleeve in the heat? Yes, uh, that is you. You're I was mad. like, I was just having to check my. You're there in three quarter lengths, <laughs> and I've been in vests all it's, week. Yeah, to be fair, it's not that warm here, and also because I didn't want to wear like I just wanted to wear a dress, and this was like the best dress available. Because um, do we need to go into this detail? But like, it's been warm, so like dresses are a one day use only, and then they go in the wash. So <laughs> this is the only one available. <laughs> You're welcome. You now know that. Straight in with the questions: Is the base a shaped base plate, or is it made up of plates? It's made up of plates. So you can hopefully see like that. Pledges. I can actually show you better with this camera, so just give you an idea. Yeah, but the main event's the door. The, yes, show them. The door is so beautiful. It's like a printed piece and it has like oh, the rune close. as well that like that Gandalf puts on it. So cool. So as you can see, I've got things sorted in colour and sort of rough parts, so it'll be slightly easy to find things. Also, whilst Ben laughs, because he won't be here for the whole stream, he will have to leave in sort of like a few minutes, ten minutes or so. But whilst Whilst that lasts, we have our membership board that uh, we're yes. currently decorating with our little border. So if you wanted to donate at all during the stream, which you totally don't have to, but if you'd like to to support the stream, then you can choose a little brick colour piece that we can add to the outside of here. And then we can make a little list for this. Is that, no, that's a Dutch word. What do you call it? A what? A frame. You can, we can make a frame for this. Um, and as you can see, our wonderful members all have their little... Um, tiles on here as well which makes me very happy this usually cool. lives in a lego room but i've brought it downstairs so that's ben's job today that is for, instead for the of time being instead of when i did it and i was like just trying to distract myself on the fact that i wanted to be building whilst you're doing box <laughs> christian m why but why did you start without us but i could not I well wait. i believe that would be because we were uh, oh oh he means the set i thought he meant the stream and was surprised we were on time oh i mean there is yeah. a, but i think he probably means I think the set. he does mean the set indeed yeah because that is i am speaking. super impatient topic, also topic bricks the minifigures for this set are so amazing oh yes absolutely i mean i didn't bring them down but they are fantastic looking ones i was so excited you if you've seen the video where i unboxed this set like i got so excited over the detail on them um I've had this set for over two weeks now, I think, which is why I couldn't wait. Like, this is like my dream set and I was waiting so long to put it together. It was really hard. So that's why I sort of like started occasionally. 
Maybe it's a good thing that it's been such warm weather because I actually couldn't really be in the Lego room that much because it was way too warm. Ah, AV Bricks in there with um, dropping us an ice cream and 99 pennies. <laughs> oh, thanks. We What's your Sebastian? I am. Oh, and there's the ping. There's the penguin. And the penguin, the appropriate penguin. I am. Uh, I went or the into. I opened penguin. the freezer this morning and I was like, something isn't right because I had a few things in there that were frozen and they didn't look quite right. And then I opened like an ice leaf like box and they were all like molten into this like, just it just looked so weird. They were like rocket ice creams, but they were all like flat with like the stick on the side because I think either like the freezer had either we've had a power cut overnight or like the freezer hadn't been shot for a while. But yeah, so they all molted into an awkward shape. Awkward shape. Luckily, there was no meat in there, so we're all okay. good. So, ODJ is here. Yeah, ODJ. Uh, Ministry of Making is here. Oh, hello, James. Hello, everybody. Uh, Brickstory is here. Hell yes. Tommy C. Bricks is here too, I think. Oh, hey, Tommy. How are you doing? He Good chatted a here. loading symbol. Oh, yeah, that's like, that's like the icon, I think. That's a thing that, um, at least, that's what I'm aware of. Topic Bricks did one too. What'll that do? What is I think that's just a thing that you can paste. It may be because they're waiting for me. So there's like a, a few go to like icons so you can see them. You can add in. But I don't know what it means. I'm not well versed. I'm oh. possibly because I wasn't building. I can't because I have to sign into chat. Oh yeah, you can't do that. I can't do that. So. Sign into chat. Sorry, not well prepared. Even though we had an hour and we hauled all our equipment downstairs. Yeah, that's it. Ugh, that's typical. Yeah, I'm isn't getting it? the blame for leaving the freezer open. Well, only, only appropriate, I suppose. I mean, it, it was you that was in the freezer last, but it may have just been a power cut overnight, as I said. Very likely. I blame the ice cream is trying to escape. Okay, the reason they I found out, I'm not going to lie, is because I had two frozen bananas in there and, and they'd gone, like, brown. <laughs> and I was like, this is not right. They look gross now. So they're in the bin. They're in the bin, yeah. The banana jet, the banana grape. Because I like... You know, if you like blend banana in like a blender with like a little bit of oatmeal, you can make like really creamy banana ice cream. Which, if it's really hot, that's like the best way to eat your five a day. So, um, uh, I'm bored. Toys is here. Hello, how are you doing? Awesome. So, so I'm just okay. Ah, well. Lime Gamer Ghost. Awesome. Very nice, very nice name there. We should have, we should have put like some like lift music on in the background, like do, 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 do. non copyright only. Yeah. Bronx, um, did you ever get a thingy for the camera? A thingy? Oh, no. One of those, I mean. I did look. I got as far as looking for it. And what was uh, it before? You know, you know, like that we can replace the battery with so you can just have it plugged in whilst we're doing lives. How many times have I told you to get one of those? Yeah, yeah, but I remember distinctly saying last time, I've had a look, Ben, I don't know what to get. Can you have a look? Because I don't know what I'm getting and then you didn't have a look either. So. I disagree that this that conversation happened. Um, it's obviously all your fault, Ben. What are you saying? It's always my fault. I just need to get the blame for everything. That's what you're here for, right? What are you doing? Who made that comment? You started a domestic. <laughs> What's Only happened? a minor one, but you know. What's happened? What's the tea? What do you mean, what's the tea? What's happening? Did you ever get a thingy for the camera? Oh, the thingy for the camera is what started the domestic between yeah. us. I thought that was a domestic well, in the, the chat. Why the freezer, I suppose? Hey, yeah. aren't you here just to be blamed for things? Like yeah, apparently so. I'm just a scapegoat. If I make a mistake it. during the set, even if you've left, I'm like, it's just Yeah, well, that's fine. Know. That's fine by me. That's how that goes. Uh, Bambi Builds, what are you building today? We're Hobbit building hole. the Hobbit Hall. Yes. Oh yeah. And there we go. Oh, it's that way. Round. Can we just talk about the fact that these building instructions, there's two books. But every step is about three bricks. Yeah. Which is about my level. Also, because I've, I've got your help here. I would say that's about my level, actually. Possibly, yes. This is actually a really easy build, but it only has like... Like, step 55 is like four bricks. Step 56 is six bricks mm. like it's so so minimal so you kind of rush through these books really quickly which is kind of why when because i thought those two books i was like oh this is going to take me ages so like i'll start and then actually when i was rinsing through the book i was like okay no maybe i need to stop because otherwise i won't have enough to build did i thing. announce the arrival of iron board toys yeah yeah okay good Get in. jedi brick hi guys matt in weymouth sat in the hot tub with a beer watching oh hell yeah well oh nice <laughs> absolute jealousy ben is like why where is my hot tub oh, Love a hot tub. I'm not gonna lie. Next, next, next stream from a hot tub. <laughs> when I win the lottery, a, buy a hot it'll tub. It'll be a while, but we'll, uh, we'll do it then. 
brick a pick. So I should probably go back to lurking and do some work. Ah, uh, that seems that seems optional. optional. Lurking while working. Lurking while working. That's it. Damn, that's right. I don't know if it's my phone. Lego R2SW joins the chat. Oh, this is the first time I see anyone with that name posting in the chat. Lime Gamer Ghost. Oh, I love this set. Oh, it's fantastic, honestly. Well, again, if you've seen the video where I unbox it and like, man, the, the excitement was so real. Also, I was like, just emotional that day. So I was like, nearly crying over the fact that I finally got this set, which is yeah. crying over Lego, Ben. I got to that level. Yeah. Also, we need to ask A.B. Bricks what colour he wants. Well, A.B. The... AB Bricks is shouting and he's like, uh, that's the main reason Ben has to leave, uh, to avoid all the domestic. <laughs> um, but yeah, A.B. Bricks, what, what colour do you want on the board? Yes, for the frame. We will add it on, forgot to say. We literally introduced that feature and then we forgot about it straight away. That's how old we are. Oh, Ben, don't do it, Johanna. We're like, was that on stream where I knocked it over? Oh, probably. I think it was on don't stream. Don't worry, I'm far more talented. Um, <laughs> Apart from actually Thanks, killed in Lego. Um, well, Far uh, more talented than you, darling. <laughs> Bambi builds. Cool, I'm building Ninjago City Gardens. <gasps> oh my god, I love that build. That's so good. That's such a good build. Like, it's just so much fun to build that. It's such a nice process. James would officially prefer a cold tub. A cold... I was, I was literally going to make the comment where I was like, to do be fair though, I'd rather have like a cool bath. Do there. hot tubs go cold if you want them to? You just turn it off, I suppose. I but as in, does yeah, it, but can you, it but could you cool it down? I think you can adjust the temperature, but I don't know how much you can yeah. adjust the temperature. Can't say I've ever owned one, just putting that out there. That's true. That's true. <laughs> Hello, Joe Phipps. Wait, this is a different room, right? Or yes, yes, is it yes. so hot that I'm getting confused? <laughs> Don't worry, your mind has not melted away due to the sudden heat wave that we've had here in uh, the UK. That was nearly a work computer destroyed, so be careful with those pointy elbows. I'm sorry. Um, I'm sorry. Yeah, no, this is a different room. It's just that it was too warm in the other room. Also, because it, even if it's not a warm day, because there's two people in the box room, it gets quite warm anyway, so we thought. And also, we can't really open the window because you'll hit the neighbours, so. We decided to come down to the kitchen. Have you ever seen a Lethin manual? Those things are wild. I, I watched a, um, oh, who is he, what is he called? Brickitect video where he ordered like the Hulkbuster, I think, from Lethin. Just kind of like as a curiosity thing of like, oh, I'll, fi I'll figure out what this is like. Um, oh. AV, AV bricks. Pink. Pink. Ooh. Left or right? No, both sides. Okay. Both sides. Ah. Oh, I like it. The symmetry is real. For yeah. now, anyway, yeah. <laughs> The symmetry is real. That's right then. Ta-da! Yeah, so remember, um, I, I don't actually know the rules myself, so you're going to have to explain. <laughs> if you donate, we'll add a thing to the frame. I hope you become a member. Become a member, <laughs> super chat, something like that. You get a, a piece on the wall. What was that? Oh, that's the boiler that's coming the boiler on. Coming on. Don't worry about the that boiler. Loud. Yeah, they can't hear it. It's all good. <laughs> you can't hear it. It's you can't hear it. Have you got the Tower of All, thank? No. No, no. but uh, my brother does. <laughs> I did a place ask, in his bedroom. I did ask if he was uh, interested in selling it. Um, no. His interest yeah, was about nah. zero. <laughs> no interest in selling it at all. So, unfortunately. How much is this set? Um, so, I don't. it depends a little bit. So, I got it used. And I got it for hundred pounds on on Facebook Marketplace. I did pay postage in the end. I was gonna pick it up originally, but I think like I feel oh. like hundred is kind of roughly. What I'm you bored. Get. Toys. Welcome to Tea and Cake. Kevin, welcome to Tea and Cake. I will. I'll make you a little sign now because there he is. He's become a member. Hey, Look how happy Pikachu is about it. I have just skipped down and like dodged a load of comments because I accidentally clicked on the member button at the top and it went straight down. So I'm going to scroll up to go back to where I am. Ah, back, back, oh, that's good. Amy K, not a question directed at you, but a question from you, if you would see. Have you ever regretted buying a particular set? <laughs> um, so, <coughs> I don't regret buying the Lego generally, but I get quite a lot of guilt about spending money on Lego because at the moment like our life is kind of like 
I don't know, we, we, we still live rented, we're trying to get, like, we're getting married in October, so, like, I do occasionally have moments where I'm like, oh, I really, I feel bad for spending the money on Lego and not on, like, things for us. So, yeah, I definitely had that, and I bought a set, like, pretty recently, where I bought it, and then I, I kind of regretted it, in the sense of, like, I felt guilty for spending it on me, where I probably shouldn't have, and I had a long conversation to you about, like, I'm really sorry, Ben, what do you think about it? And you, you were like, look... Are you happy with it? Do you think you can justify it? And I was like, yeah, but like still, I should have spent it on us. And he's like, it's fine. So that's kind of the type of guilt I get. But I never really got guilt from like the set itself. Like the set itself has never disappointed me enough that I was like, oh, I wish I hadn't spent the money on it. So there was that. Ah, Owen Jones. Hello, people. Hello, Owen. Also, Kevin, you've now been added to the board. There you are. Ke Kevin gets border colours, right? What, what, what does... What you can add a colour. Yeah, what, yeah. Does Kevin, what does Kevin want? What does Kevin the border want? pieces. AV bricks. <laughs> Pointy elbows. Yeah, damn straight. You yeah. can keep them away from me. Um, so, let me just turn this around so you can actually see what I'm doing on the interior. I do believe that was the, uh, the catalyst for the membership as well, actually. Um, <laughs> Joe Phipps. I'm currently in a situation where I'm deciding whether to take the leap and get diagonally. You think it's worth it? Okay, so... Also, Just, I think we still need to answer the question as to how expensive this was. I'm I said I, I ah. was paid 100 for it. In that case. Um, but I think you can get it for around like 120 to 150 mm. human box as well, depending on how lucky you are. Um, Dianelli. So, worth it is a tricky one because it obviously depends on like your situation. If you've saved money, like to get that set and you have it like right there ready to go then yeah I do think it's worth it it's a fantastic set I love it so much so much sure I'm planning to get a second one and saving up for that so yes I do think it's worth it but like if you're like debating between a few sets or like if you're debating between that and like I don't know a gaming console or whatever then I guess it just depends on like what you want to spend your money most yeah, on. Yeah that's very true so yeah you have to let us know. Mm -hmm. What what's the what are the choices? Yes, like um, I think ah. it's a fantastic Lego set. That's my opinion on it, but it is really pricey. So, Av yeah. Bricks is here shouting at me. Stop, <laughs> guilty Johanna. I'm not sure whether that stopped Johanna you, from buying you, Lego. No, or... you know, I didn't actually stop. You were like actually really nice to me, and you were like, no, it's fine if you want it, and you think you can justify it. Like, just do it. Like, it's I have fine. never stopped you from buying anything that you are. No, I, you, you like advise me if I if I ask your advice, but like you yeah. don't really guilt me a lot. Absolutely not. I'd be unfair. Like you'd like make sure that I think about it properly before we'll I do it. We all have our hobbies. Oh, this is the this is the like window that's been rumored how amazing the technique was a few times. There are no regrets with Lego, are there? Lego R two SW. Um, Simon Moss. Hello everyone. Hey Simon, how are you doing? Good to have you here. Uh, I am bored. Oh, Kevin. Would like either medium lavender or medium azure. Um, I'll be right back. Okay. You, you well, can do. You it can it add appears that, that I have been left in complete control of the stream. How can we? Uh, how can we tip the scales on this one? Um, right. Anyway, I'm, I'm trying to do what I'm doing. Um, if I'm totally honest, I'm not really sure what color azure is. Is it like this clear sapphire one? I mean, you, you can confirm confirm that if you would like, Kevin. Um, Johanna has questions coming, so Bambi Build, we will hold that one off for a second. Um, I'm going to scroll down a little bit and just see if anybody's got any questions just for me um, while I'm here. Um, or, or maybe not. Hello. Our time for sabotage has ended. We must stop what we were doing. You must be evicted from this stream, sir. Yeah, I'll, I'll, be, I'll be off in a minute. You, what's happened? What's um, I'm just going to recount. I, I, I failed to um, decide on what colour azure or lavender like was. Purpley. Yeah, but I thought it was that. That's, that's blue. Yeah, but azure. That's what I would have said azure was. Like, I'm assuming... Johanna, I have a question you for you. Are you thinking about buying the haunted house that was referred to last year? Um... <laughs> RDMDK Bricks. Hi, T. T-Boy. t Hi T boy. You're called Hi T boy. That's your set. Yeah, that's it. Um, um, I'm, I'm, I've been tempted by it. The reason I want it is because I want to convert it into the modular, and the modular instructions that I found to convert it with actually require like another fifteen hundred pieces, and the haunted house itself is like two hundred and ten. So I was a bit like, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm on the fence about it. 
Johanna was back too quickly for me to cause any chaos. Um, <laughs> so, you know, I, I've literally only just got down to the comments where there's people telling me to do semi-malicious things. Um, so, Great. Hey, next time, I'm sure I'm sure we'll get there. I'm glad um, I can trust you guys. Really, yeah, really yeah, great. no, you can. I'm going to scroll past them. It never happened. Okay. Um, and you're not allowed to scroll back up while I'm gone. Um, right, nice. so if we missed your comment, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> re, re put it in the, the box. But Yes. I will now be taking over. Lime Gamer Ghost taking that literally. My favourite set is set 71741. I've got it. I'm from Germany, if you want to know. Oh, okay, cool. I need to look up what that is because I don't ever know off the top of my head. I think that was a mistake. Oh yeah, it's like 200. <laughs> right, you go and... Um, yeah, yeah. I'll take yeah. over the helm. I'll stop, my, my building speed probably will significantly decline now. Yeah, with Lino Studios. Amazing, guys. <laughs> Just as uh, I'm thank heading you, off. Thank you for your cameo in today's stream. It was me. Goodbye. And now it was me, and I'm gone. Goodbye. Farewell, au revoir. And as they say in Russia, Moscow. <laughs> Thanks, man. I know I can leave it. Can you make sure that the camera is in the middle? Oh, yeah. Thanks. Thanks. Quick camera wobbling and a tape. Oh, I can't turn the screen because you have locked it in place with your cable. So, oh, I'm just going it's fine. to lean over here. It's okay. Yeah, it's all good. Don't worry. Is it? Oh, I'm adjusting a little bit. All right, that'll do. All right. Goodbye. Spooky bye. behind the camera voices running away. <laughs> Everybody's saying bye. Goodbye. <laughs> Right, so we've got Omega Man saying, Johanna, does this set contain any slopey, slopey parts? <laughs> slopey, slopey parts are common in Lego sets, I've been told. So, uh, yes. Oh, this is really difficult to add in, op opposed to. How does this go? Huh. Oh, it goes in here. It's fine. I figured out how to do it already. So, this is currently our progress. Look at that beautiful window. I don't know if you can see, because, like, there is no light behind me, but this window is fantastic. So beautiful. I was expecting it to be more like um, stained glass. Waves into the distance, weirdly. But because like on the um, on this picture, it looks really orange behind. So I was expecting it to be orangey trans pieces, but it's actually, um, it's actually trans clear, but all good. So absolutely fine. It's Bambi says, it's a really amazing set. I built it recently and the detail is just so cool and the building techniques are great. Actually, so far, though, like, it's surprisingly, like, easy in the sense of, like, the instructions are quite straightforward. I'm actually really enjoying sort of the, the techniques and this window. But then every single person I've spoken to is like, oh, that window technique, it's fantastic. Um, especially Matt from Automatic Toys in Caution. <laughs> He's told me that a few times. But um, it is really good. It looks really, really beautiful. I'm going to have to give that to everybody that has talked to me about this set before. So, yes, I'm going to have to find a way so I can actually read this a bit easier. So, there we go. Was this set a lot of money? Um, or don't you mind, uh, if you don't mind me asking. So, as I just said earlier, I bought this for £100, which personally was at the top end of what I wanted to pay for this set. But I also know at the same time that this set goes for like between 100 and 150 depending on the state of it. So it wasn't like crazy price, and it was definitely at the lower end. I've seen it at £85 before, but I've always kind of had a rule. If I buy used sets that are over £50, I want to be able to go and collect it, because that way I can obviously check if it's legitimate and I won't really have like a problem with that down the line. So this was actually nearer to me, which is why I was like, oh cool, I'll get that one, because I can actually drive to it. But in the end, like in the end, I couldn't actually go that day, so I had it sent to me. I took the risk, but because the person that was selling it to me was happy for me to come collect it, I kind of just took the risk of thinking like evidently he's finally coming to collect it, so it should be fine for him to send it to. But it's always really scary buying second hand, or at least I find it so scary, so I have like certain rules to kind of protect me from fraud, because it, I think it always happens to people, like it does seem to happen quite a lot, so I just don't want to minimise the risk of that happening really. So there is that. You can already tell that like my speed has declined significantly the moment Ben's left because I have to do things. Links everywhere. So, and now you're ours. You, I have indeed been given to you to ask questions and to entertain. <laughs> Ali for gamer. Um, what's happened to the Lego rooms, as Simon Moss? So, as, um, obviously everybody in the UK is aware of this, but it's a bit toasty in, in the UK at the moment. Um, it's kind of been consistently over 30 degrees for the last 
five or six days. I don't know how hot that is in Fahrenheit. I think it's around 100 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm not sure, I have never learned Fahrenheit. However, um, to the UK in un aircon homes, that's really hot. <laughs> so it's been kind of like difficult. I have gone into the office on Monday because there was aircon there, but I kind of preferred to work from home because it was easier because my car also doesn't have aircon because my car is literally ancient. So the, the journey back and forth to work wasn't worth having aircon at work for. So I just decided to work from home and I've actually been working from the kitchen as well because this is like the coolest room in the house because it, it doesn't get sun, sun, doesn't get sun apparently, it doesn't get sun for very long so it's been quite nice to, um, to be here to be honest. Um, but then I was like if we're going to be streaming I do not want to descend into puddle Johanna so I decided to stream from the kitchen. So that's why we have Echo and green walls and a map of Iga. You see the map of the UK behind me. There's a map of the UK behind me. <laughs> there we go. This is an old set, I think, and I'm probably wrong, so do correct me if I am wrong, but I think it was from like 2014 to 2015 when the Hobbit movies came out. So it old, it's not old old, but it is definitely retired. It's been retired for a while. So yes, it is, it is like not available in shops or anything like that. I have to say though, this set that I bought feels like, you know when you buy a Lego set used, like you can tell, like like sometimes you just can tell how used the pieces are, but these like feel pretty new still, though they were a bit like dusty and I have, to, I've had, I have washed them and stuff, they just, they just seem very unused, so yeah, this is really like looked after really, really well, so that's a very cool. Hello Purple Shroom as well. Sorry for not having said hi to everybody yet. Um, I've obviously been doing too many things at the same time. But Purple Shroom, I see with Lino Studio. Sorry if I said that wrong. Um, I think I said hi to everybody. Oh, Lego R2 SW. <laughs> Star Wars, obviously. Ash Bishop is here as well. Hello. So, um, Joshua Madison. Cool. I, I'm just seeing some names now because I'm just kind of scrolling through. And if again, I just bought like eight Harry Potter sets for £300 and I'm now waiting for next month. So, this brings me to a thing that I have done this month. And the people and the members that are in the Discord already know about this. But um, the very kind Topic Bricks, Rosie, posted in our um, Harry Potter chat that uh, there was a deal on the Chamber of Secrets, which it's like, ooh. The Chamber of Secrets, eh? Because I have a plan to convert all the old 2018 to 2020 Harry Potter like um, sets, if you know the castle pieces, into more of a modular form, aka like the Chamber of Secrets, because I really like how it stacks and I want to have it in the display cabinet at the bottom of that display cabinet in my Lego room. So you can see all the interiors. A little bit like a dollhouse, I guess, inspired by people like Hannah Beverly Bricks and um, Toast9027, I think. So I bought a second Chamber of Secrets. <laughs> it was £40 off, which is why I'm justifying this. I'm totally claiming that as justification for why I've done this. Um, but yeah, it was £40 off, which made it a bit more justifiable. And I'm planning on selling the figures to kind of make up, because I don't really need the figures, I just want the bits, so it's gonna be easier to fill with more decor. So I probably will be selling the figures in order to like kind of make up for the fact that I've just spent that much money. But I've also spent money on other things, so there's probably a haul coming soon and that the purchase of that set was also the thing that i felt guilty for and had to ask ben about if you were here earlier in the stream so yeah that's been happening it was super great but i'm super excited and it's actually arrived today it's still in the box i'll as i said i'll probably do, do a little haul video about it because i need to talk about it um because also that leans into a really cool project that i'm planning to live stream on the 31st of july Harry Potter's birthday. Um, so I'm hoping to kind of have that set ready on the 31st of July, do a Saturday live stream with you all and um, build mocked a Hogwarts whilst we're on stream, which is gonna be really fun. So that's kind of the plan. Um, sorry, this is what keeps happening. I'm just going massive tangents and I fall behind so much with the set. Um, mm -mm. Owen thinks this is a good price, £100, because he's found it for £140. Yeah, it does generally go for more than £100, so I could justify it to myself, which is why I kind of jumped on that chance. Joshua said the ice cream man came in my street earlier today and I was as happy as a toddler would be. <laughs> we have an ice cream van as well at place like the, um, oh, what's it called? Like, oh, I've, I've forgotten it. 
there is a really fun theme showing that it ch chimes every time it enters the estate and it's kind of fun. Um, it's mad how warm it is here in the UK. I work in a factory of I sweat completely through five shirts in the last two days. Seth, um, Keenan, yes, it is really, really warm. I think more importantly, the UK doesn't really have a lot of air conditioned places where like you can kind of cool down again. So like if it's warm, it's like warm everywhere unless you have a newer car with proper aircon and like me, um, there isn't just a lot of places you can go to cool down. So that's like been impacting a lot of people. Plus we're British, so like talking about the weather is like a pastime anyway, so we like to talk about what kind of weather it is. We'll probably whinge next week when it's going to be raining all week about how terrible the weather is, just to warn you. Um, also, Whitley No said, I've subscribed, thank you, welcome to the club. <laughs> Ava Brooks says, totally worth it, just blame Ben. Ben's an enabler. <laughs> so is Mr. Birka Fix, absolutely. Good old partners, right, that I just hear like saying, oh, it's fine, oh, you can buy things if you want it. <laughs> it's fine. Ben, ben has, his, has his own hobbies. To be fair, he's, he spends less on frivolous plastic bricks than I do, but he does have his own hobbies that he spends money on. Mostly Warhammer, occasionally, um, like Dungeons and Dragons is big now, but he mostly spends it on like digital books, so like you can't really tell in the house. But yeah, we all have our things. <laughs> Papa Shrooms says, hey Hannah, your membership board looks like a Doctor Who's TARDIS. It does a little bit at the minute, doesn't it? It's quite funny, actually. I think it looks good, though. I'm quite happy with it. It's a, it's a knock-up Lego base plate, though. But it works well. I like the colour of it. Um. <laughs> oh, hey, Claire. The Plastic Architect is here. Awesome. Good to have you. Sorry if I'm like leaning over to my computer so I can actually read the chat. It's not the best angle that I've set it up for. But I was hoping to be able to stream with, with Ben and I like all stream today. But like we had a thing come up. So um, we're just, it's just me at the moment. Obviously Ben had to leave after the first two seconds. But all good, all good. Life happens, I guess. Let me just see where my little, oh I put that there already. Right, Johanna, you're building a set. Try and see if you can get the bricks for the next set. And keep building. Keep this up. <laughs> this always happens. But then if you're regular to the stream, you know that I get distracted by talking about life. Life that is very warm right now. <laughs> hey, Slim Dim Lego, long time no see. I'm catching up with some work as it's two huts in a day to upstairs in my work Lego room, enjoying following along. Awesome! Yes, I've, as I've just explained, I've been there. I've been working from the kitchen as well. So, but I feel like every single work call I've been on in the last few days has always started with, gosh, it's really warm, how are you holding up? Are you in the office? <laughs> Is there aircon in your office? Type thing. So there's, there's a, lot of, um, a lot of that kind of chat. Ah, corporate work, hey. Okay. <laughs> Are you a super fan of Doctor Who or do you just like Lego set and both? Uh -huh. um, I I like Doctor Who. I'm not like a super fan or anything, but I definitely liked it. I, I watched a lot of it when I was younger and really enjoyed. Um, I really enjoyed the series then. I, I joined when David Tennant was a doctor, but I because I was in the UK, uh, I wasn't in the UK, I was in the Netherlands. We, I didn't really watch them live, so I mostly just downloaded them and then watched them. So I actually started with Christopher Eccleston, who was a badass doctor, and I went into David Tennant, who I adore, and my David Tennant fangirl time started then. And then Matt Smith, who I actually also really, really liked. I think the moment it started trailing off was when um, Karen Gillan, uh, like, well, yeah, when Amy and, Ar and um, when Arthur and Karen left. I've forgotten the name. Amy and Rory, or Arthur and Ke Karen. Um, I really, really like them, so when they left it was a little bit sweet and I've been really enjoying it until then. And then Clara came and I wasn't as interested in her sort of story arc. I think at this, that point there had been so many new characters that I was a little bit like, oh, I don't think I have like empathy for another one. And also I think I was kind of growing out of it a little bit, but I know my sister was into it for a little bit longer. It is a really fun series though, I really enjoy it, but I've totally fallen off a bandwagon at that point, so not watched any with Jodie or with Pisa Capaldi either, so. Hello Teal Bricks in Paradise. <laughs> How is everybody doing? Um, I lost my words there. 
life, the universe and everything. Yeah, that's what I tend to talk about and get completely distracted by. So great. Multitasking evidently is not one of my uh, strengths when I'm on these streams, but hey, one can only try their best and therefore I shall continue to do so. So is anybody else building any Lego at the minute? Is anybody having some exciting um, double VIP point sets arrive? What is happening? Also, we're getting scarily close to August release day. So what are people planning for August? Because I know in America, like a lot of sets are drop in. So what is the excitement? Has anybody, has anybody, I know I'm asking too many questions in one go, but has anybody bought the Seinfeld set today? Because that got released. So let me know. Name drop, but we meet Christopher, David and Matt. Uh, we've met uh, um, Christopher, David and Matt. Also several older doctors and the guy who voiced K9. Oh, that's so cool, Alan. That's really, really cool. Um, I wish I went to Cardiff for the first time some years ago. And there was that moment where I was like, oh my gosh, it'd be so cool to like meet some people. But obviously I think that was like outside of season anyway. And I think that was also when the Doctor Who experience had already just closed. So, or maybe it was still open at the time. I can't quite remember. But. I was quite convinced I wasn't going to, but I would love to. Would love to have a chat with David Tennant. Or, oh, actually, there's so many people I'd love to have a chat with. Michael Sheen, love him. I was watching a deep dive on Ursula K. Le Guin today, and I love, I love her as a writer, and I've not, I didn't know enough about her, so like I did a really, I watched some really cool videos about her as well. So, publishing says, can we talk about Lego customer server and how brilliant it is? The person I ended up talking to was wonderful. We ended up chatting about Lego and she wanted to um, hear all about me, my Lego mark. That's so cool. Yes, I mean, I've only really ever had really good experiences with Lego customer services. They've been really helpful, even when like I lost things which were totally my own fault. <laughs> so it's been really, really good. Like remember when I was on stream and I put the sticker for the Hogsmeade set on like a top window of when Honeydew was on and I had to reapply it like 20 times and therefore the sticker looked terrible. I actually contacted Lego Customer Service the day after and said like, hey, I did this thing, um, please, would it be possible to buy like an extra sheet because I've ruined it a little bit. And they were like, oh, it's fine, we'll send them to you. So that made me really happy. That made me really happy. <laughs> I'm planning on not going anywhere near the Lego store on August 1st. That's, that's an ambitious plan, Kevin. What? Why? Why would you withhold yourself? Is it because you're holding out for some monkey kit releases? Is it because you do not trust yourself to just not spend the entire mortgage down payment? Or whatever. Share with the group. This week I built Hedwig and my Sunnery Towers as Purple Shroom. There's both some really fun sets to build. I think um, <laughs> I think Hedwig is a really fun set to build actually, so fair enough. Um, there's no Harry Potter in August drop, I'm not happy about that. No, but I'm kind of pleased there isn't any Harry Potter in the August drop. Um, mostly because that would have been really expensive if there was, and I'm still kind of like unsure that the ones that are dropping in August would have been exciting. So yes, I guess we will wait till September, which is fine because that's my birthday month and then maybe I can have find an excuse where I'm buying things again. I have not yet shared what I've like bought for all of this, but I've already spent my August budget mostly, unless I, basically unless I sell my brick bank, I do not have any Lego budget until September, <laughs> so. It's probably a good thing that nothing's dropping that I really, really desperately want. But I'm sure in like two weeks time, I'll have a different opinion. Ah, <laughs> oh, I mean, I'm, I'm my own worst nightmare. Bronze of the gunship does look amazing though. I mean, when I saw that picture where I compared the gunship size to like the Millennium Falcon size, I was just like, wow. I really want to, I just kind of want to go to the Lego store just to be able to see the new gunship. I'm not even a Star Wars fan, but it looks great. Um, <laughs> jammy. <laughs> oh, just because there's going to be so many people there and I don't like being around that many people, lol. Fair enough, fair enough. Yeah, okay, I meant, I thought as in like, you don't want to go to the Lego store at all, but you meant specifically August 1st. Fair enough. Yes, um, I think if it's like 
I guess it's a Sunday, isn't it? So like a lot of people will be off as well to be able to go in because I went June first and though there were people there, it wasn't like insane. But then it was like a random weekday. I think it was like a Tuesday. I think it was a Tuesday. So like it wasn't really that a lot of people were there for it or taking a day off work um, like I had. <laughs> um, get, get out of the self isolation on Saturday. Be making a break for freedom and buying more Lego. <laughs> As everybody should do, that's obviously the only appropriate thing when you have to come out of isolation is run away and get more Lego. Priorities. Um, I would love Gringotts Banger, maybe another part of Hogsmeade's version 2022. Absolutely, Ali, I totally agree with you. That is all of our dreams. You can now join the We Will Protest If There's No Gringotts in next year uh, group because we will be vocal and we will demand it. <clears throat> But yes, we will see. Mm. I would buy your brick bank. Well, it's currently on Facebook Marketplace, but if you're actually interested, I can send you some pictures, but don't worry. <laughs> I made $250, I mean, I know, obviously Canadian dollars, Bricklink order today though. Oh my God, Kevin. <laughs> Please tell me what it's for. I'm sorry if I'm not in the loop, I should know this, but like, I wanna know, what are you building? Are you building world's greatest roller coaster? Because one must know. Um, this is a great set. I'm building my own Minas Tirith right now. Oh my god, that's so exciting. I've been, I've been following this couple on Instagram for a while. I don't, uh, actually don't know if it's a couple. Basically a group of people that are building, um, that have built a huge Minas Tirith and oh my god, I'm in love. I want it. I've been sharing it with Ethan, Ethan a lot and we've just been saying how much we want it. It's just the best. So yes. I wish one day to also build a Minas Tirith, but also um, I'm adding so many projects to a never ending list that I can't even fund half of that I don't know how realistic that's going to happen anytime soon. But hey, got to have dreams. Got to have dreams. Um, it's for the roller coaster and for some other rides. Awesome, excellent. At least I sort of knew roughly what it would probably be we go for. Ordering online does not have the same thrill. I so agree, Purple Shroom. I'm totally like an in-person buyer, but then I bought the Chamber of Se the second Chamber of Secrets from um, Amazon, which point one I tend not to buy from because I don't agree with the ethics, which sounds a little bit high and mighty, but that's just how I go. And also I prefer buying in store, but you know, I ordered it from there because it was forty pound off, and I wouldn't have ordered it otherwise. So there was that conflict, you know. Where is this piece? I'm just looking for this piece. Uh oh. Oh no, it's fine. I just put it in the wrong place. I found it. Never mind. Um, would you rather have a new Gringotts or a Shrieking Shack? Ooh. So, I would rather have a Gringotts because I haven't got one at all. And I think I own the Shrieking Shack, but I'm not entirely sure because it is in that like massive amount of vintage Lego that's like my parents that I still haven't got. So because of that, I would be inclined to say Gringotts. I would really love to see what they would do with um, the Shrieking Shack. But however, considering what they've done with the Hogwarts like size at the moment, I don't think the Shrieking Shack will ever be like a, like a D to C because it just doesn't seem like they set themselves up for that kind of scale. So it's I think it's... In a way, I think it's possibly likely that they may release the Shrieking Shack or at least like a Hog Hogsmeade extension. If they are doing like a Deathly Hallows wave next year, it's likely that maybe they'll do a Hogshead because actually that also, that's both a Hogsmeade extension as well as something that ties in with Deathly Hallows, which would be ace. I would never expect them to do that normally, but that would be awesome. But yeah, it'd be cool if they did a Shrieking Shack, but I just don't feel like it has... Obviously, you know, Deathly Hallows, the book, it has a big tie to the story because instead of the boathouse, that's where Voldemort's hiding. However, because in the movie and they're basing everything on the movie, I don't think they will. But it'd be cool. I mean, I'll take any buildings that they make because I like my buildings. You know, got to take what you can get, right? Right, guys? <laughs> Kevin, the roller coaster tycoon. <laughs> Absolutely. You guys need to check out Kevin's live streams. They're the best. I really love them. But he built some really cool roller coasters. So go and check that out. I'm bored toys. Um, 
Da. Moving house soon, hopefully. Once the purchase goes through, oh my gosh, that's scary. So I'm holding off on Lego spending until then. Expect the occasional magazine. Oh, that's very, that's very sensible of you. That is probably the best way. Also, generally, because if you um, have to actually move house, you will have to move Lego, which is possibly one of the scary things to do in life. So fair enough. I don't know if I'd have that kind of self-restraint anymore though, I have to say. Lego has made me a different person. Look at the doll, it's so pretty! Hey Elgo Collection, how you doing? Hope you're not melting from the heat like we are here. Hence why we're in the kitchen. We, I keep saying we, Ben's not actually here anymore, so it is just me. In front of these bright lights in like a dark kitchen. Setups. Right, this is this is going very swiftly, guys. Look at me like building like an actual uh tornado. Very exciting. <laughs> a like mm, a like I can't I can't do it. Please tell please spell it out without the hashtag. My dyslexia is kicking in. <laughs> Joshua says you should make um, the San Diego Comic Con exclusive of book accurate Harry and Voldemort with Harry's green eyes and Voldemort's red one. Wait, do this, does that exist? Oh, they should make that. Yes, yes, yes. That would be really cool if that existed. But also, I find that when Lego does coloured eyes, it can look really creepy, so I don't know if that's the best thing. Unless I've misinterpreted that. Ah. Huh. So I've just put the door in and I'm just going to say my honest opinion because the door is behind it's not very round from the top from the front which is a little bit sad but actually now I'm thinking about it out loud I think you're going to outline it yeah you're going to outline it with round bricks so actually that effect is going to be reduced and then when it's open it looks really cute because it's so beautiful I hope you can kind of see that well enough but it's it's really pretty I don't like the back of the door though I feel like that the colour of that is a bad choice. It's to either go for all black or make it all brown, but yeah, I've always- oh, there, there, there. Johanna, form your thoughts in your head before you speak them out loud and not just like put some words out there. But basically when I bought this set, um, I already thought that the back of the door didn't look that good and I've always thought the interiors of this set could do with some improvement, which is, I am planning on doing eventually, so watch this space for that, I guess. There we go. Oh, interesting that they include a sword in this build, even though this scene technically takes place before Bilbo goes on its adventure and acquired says sword. And in the canon, I don't think it's usual for hobbits to have swords. Because I think even the lens sting and the coat of mill to Mickle Delving. It's for the museum. Oh, do I sound do I sound like a nerd? Maybe I sound a little bit like a nerd. I'll pair it back. I still haven't got the di uh, Diagon Alley set. It's beautiful and I really want it sadly. The price is not some is something I want. Very fair enough. If you don't think it's worth it, totally don't do it. The way I kind of... Because I still think it's really expensive, but I kind of save up monthly for it. Because as much as I'm happy to spend like... up, I think like my absolute maximum is £200 for like sets. Um, because I, like after that it becomes like really like a lot of money and I think even like a modular at like 180 pounds is really expensive but at least I can kind of conceive of that money but like 370 is a lot of money so I've saved both for the first diagonally and my second diagonally I've kind of saved up for it like in in little ways so I started saving with the second diagonally like three months ago so kind of just putting a little bit away every month so it doesn't really feel like such a crazy commitment because yes the thing is expensive. They did a Bilbo Baggins exclusive minifigure. Yes, yes, I did see that. There is lots of random. I have two um, morning coats Bilbo's randomly, and I have got. I know they did like a DVD release with a blue coat Bilbo Baggins that's now worth a crazy amount of money. But I know they did various. But they're also expensive, guys. <laughs> Why? Why is it so expensive? We need more Lego Lord of the Rings. We needed more. 
They'll be wearing an I love New York shirt. I think that might have been Yoda actually. Yes, I think that was a Yoda with like New York I love. I think just because obviously it's Yoda and that, that's comic to, that's typical. Don't know why I'm explaining Yoda humor to you all, whereas I'm probably the one that knows least about it. But yeah, they, they, did, a, they did the Yoda, which is, they saw an opportunity and they took it. And I like it, I like it. Um, I'm melting Wicked Witch of the East is fairly represented by everyone in the UK right now. <laughs> so true. Um, what about a movie um, exclusive of the final battle scene of Harry and Baldy? That would be cool. Like a little bit like the Pop Funko one, I, I'm assuming, because they did one recently. Recently-ish. So, that was pretty cool. To be honest though, I'd rather have them not do a Comic-Con exclusive because that will be then exclusive to the US and like crazy to get because the prices are extortionate. So in a way, though all those sets are, sound great, I'd rather have them just available to everybody rather than exclusive to people because that never really tends to go well and without controversy. And I'm all here for reducing controversy. Um, Hi AK's Adventure, how are you doing? Kimberly Marshall, also hi. We're all nerds here. Well, I guess we are. You are watching a Lego stream, so... <laughs> it's kind of like a self-sifting audience. I'm happy the Hobbit exclusive aren't actually exclusive. Yeah, exactly. The blue coat Bilbo is easy to get if you only, if you only search for the Blu-ray and not the actual figure. Yeah, I agree. You can definitely get lucky with that one. Though obviously, as the release is older, the older it gets, the like harder it is to get. But I really like that torso actually, so I am sort of like in half a mind of possibly just seeing if I can um, if I can find one eventually. But I also feel like even since when I joined the LEGO hobby like in August last, we're nearly at my one year YouTube anniversary, it's on August 8th, um, but even when I joined the YouTube hobby or the, the LEGO hobby last year, between then and now, like even then, like there's been a massive increase in like just the price of the Lord of the Rings LEGO. Ooh, I caught it. <laughs> I caught the stud. Thank you, thank you. I am a magician. Um, I ended up, oh, sorry, you're talking to each other. But today was, um, let New York, sorry, I'm just trying to make sense of comments um, out of context. <laughs> so New York City Toys R Us for a swing set. Ah, okay, cool. Ignore the today. That was a New York City Toys R Us for a swing set. Do you mean that like Yoda one that was released was for like was a Toys R Us exclusive in New York City? I'm assuming that's what you mean. Um, I agree. I love going to uh, San Diego Comic Con every year, but hunting the Lego exclusives are not great. Yes, I've never been to any kind of Comic Con but I like what they create exclusive things wise. But I, I think that's possibly what I like least about hobbies, that when things get exclusive, because there's always people that are disappointed and there's always people like taking advantage of other people wanting things by inflating the prices and it just becomes like this massive minefield. And I'm like, guys, can we just like release it to everybody and then everybody's happy and that's easier. But evidently that doesn't really work with collectors. So who knew? I am babbling a lot, I've realised though. Right, so look at that. It's coming together so well. Actually the round window frames um, for the windows make a massive, massive difference. It feels way cosier from the outside and also actually the colour pattern is much more cohesive this way. From how I thought about the set before I actually build it, I am more impressed by it. Like I like it more than I even thought I would. The colour is like really pleasing. Lord of the Ring pricing spiking in anticipation of the new TV show and anime. I'm lucky you've been into it for a while. Yeah, they have been. I think it's possibly that, but also even before that, I think the prices are spiking because due to the pandemic, a lot of people that hadn't been Ethel's before got back into the Lego hobby, and I think most of them were like older, obviously Ethel's. So. The Lord of the Rings is one of those things that they're nostalgic about, so it's like, oh yeah, I remember like Lego being a thing for Lord of the Rings, oh let me collect that. Because also, not only is it a great 
thing to get all the sets off. You can build armies so that it has an incentive to like get lots of the figures as well. So it's just become so, so, so desirable and the price is just going up so much. Like it's nearly impossible to get things for a good, for a good price. Obviously a good price is very, whatever you make of it. But. There you go, look, I'm on book two. It's like I'm actually quick at building, but it's just a deception because it's, as I said, like twit, like three or four bricks per step. Um, are you excited for the new McAllister house set this Christmas? So, I'm not really a Home Alone fan, to be honest. I like that it's a building, but because it's only going to be $100, I'm expecting it to be kind of like a Sesame Street affair. So, like, smaller, which inevitably is going to cause drama. I already know it has caused drama. So, a little bit like, I'm not sure if I'm ready for more Lego drama. I'm just here for the fun. I'm very much a believer in, like, if it's, if it's not what you want, you can mock it, especially if it's like smaller because I'm expecting this set to be, if you just wanted it bigger, you could probably just buy two and make it bigger. But this is me being like, saying things before I've seen it, obviously, but I'm just, um, I think it's going to be a good set and I'm excited for it to be a building, but I'm not really that excited for like all the controversy around it where everybody's going to be super disappointed and like hating on Lego for making decisions because sometimes that tires me out a little bit. So yeah, we'll have to see. Ooh, this has like a print on it. Oops, I should have saved that. But maybe that's just me being da a downer. Sorry, sorry if you think I am. But that's just kind of how I felt about it. Because it's like, oh god, like this is not what people are waiting for, you know? It's just gonna be like, what? How dare they make. What did it just release? A typewriter so big, but then not this one. So, what do you guys think of that? What are you, your thoughts on the like £100, $100 uh, McAllister house? Are you very fond of like that series? What are your thoughts? Do you have Gandalf arrives to go with this? I do have Gandalf arrives to go with this. Obviously this is a set set in The Hobbit, so you, this comes with a Gandalf as well. But I have the carriage and I have the Gandalf and the Frodo to make this all work. Oh, oops, I'm skipping a step. To make this all work as well. So I am, I am prepared for this set. <laughs> Okay. Next video, buy a Lego movie Rexelsior set. Ooh, I could have, I can't even imagine that in my head what that would be. I will have to look into that. That's not that fist like spaceship, is it? No, I wouldn't know that. I'll have to look into that. The gems of used Lego shops is, uh, which have used Legos. I do really love used Lego shops. The thing is, I'm a massive bargain hunter, so obviously if you go to used Lego shops, you are paying for the fact that they have already found it, sourced it, and put it on the shelves, so you aren't really like finding the bargains that I like finding, which is fair enough. Like They need, obviously, paying for their time, which totally makes sense, but I quite I quite like the bargain hunt thrill, you know? It's fun, it's fun to like be scrolling through Facebook and all of a sudden go, oh my god, that set, I want it, it's only £80, I have to go get it now. Um, and it feels a little bit like treasure hunting as well, which evidently uh, it's totally my addiction at this point. <laughs> it's even army building airmen, lol, I have like 10 of them. What? Oh my god, I have none of them. I am not at all jealous in any way of you. I'm very jealous. So, um, I went to the, Lego, the used Lego store in... Um, Caution, and they had Helm's Deep, but Helm's Deep is £250, which, considering that it probably has come from a bulk lot and he's had to sort it and all that kind of stuff, makes total sense because that's the value it goes for. But that's so much money for that set, um, but it comes with so many cool figures. I love it. I don't know if Emma actually came with that smaller, like Helm's Deep, like extension pack thing, but um, I want Theoden as well, he's beautiful. Um, I just want one of them. Who am I kidding? I want them all. I want them all. Um, the statue at the front door definitely needs to be on the hinge brig. Wait, am I doing something wrong? Is that what you're saying? Am I doing something wrong? <laughs> am I doing something wrong? No, I don't think I'm doing something wrong. What did you mean, 80 bricks? Um, 
I'm German and I must go into bed. Bye. No worries. Fair enough. Sleep well. Thanks for being here. Too much Lego drama, which is why I can't, I don't care at all much about the league. So I'm neither excited nor disappointed. I'm a little bit like that. Obviously, like I have a gut reaction to something coming out, but also with leaks, it's always really tricky because generally you find out the words before there's images. So you can kind of have an image in your head and then you find out like the piece count or like and the money but that, that doesn't really say much about the set in theory apart from that you can kind of gauge the size of things which still is not a lot to judge things on so yeah it's just a bit tiring sometimes i'm generally a bit like oh well we'll have to wait and see which is why i'm a bit like still like that with um the the rumored like harry potter thing coming out I'm still a bit like, oh, I'm probably not super excited for it, but at the same time I'm also like, oh, I want to see it first. I want to see it, and then I'm very open to changing my mind. At the moment I'm just worried that it's going to cost me £250 for a set I don't necessarily need all of the things for, but I just want the golden mini fix, but we'll have to see. Um, very excited for the McAllister House. I feel like smaller sets force them to be more creative and take out the fluff, which I like. That's a really nice take on that, actually, Alan. That's definitely the most positive one I've seen so far that's and I agree I think with Sesame Street though it doesn't appeal to me as much but I'm not that nostalgic for Sesame Street they have done a great job at like putting beautiful details in lots of references they have great stickers in that set so they have been really creative with it it's just I think people in their heads especially these people that like have cities they would love it to be a modular and I think because it was a really big modular before it probably was something that they're like oh that'd be great so but I wonder, I wonder, maybe they got the license really cheap, maybe there is still a decent amount of bricks, that's, but it will definitely be open back, basically, is what I'm thinking. Maybe. Also, people need to vote with their pocketbooks. If you don't like it, don't buy it, don't try and get things cancelled or changed. Yeah, I agree, there's no point, but I don't, don't get me wrong, like, I'm not, like, upset about people expressing their opinion, it's just sometimes it, became, it becomes so negative that I'm a bit, like, you know, seems a bit pointless to kind of go into the detail because everybody's already upset type thing, but maybe that's just my bad interpretation and I've got it completely wrong and completely open to that. Um, let's put this in front and build him his little path, his little path to the front door. Okay. Um, sometimes the drama gets get so funny I like to watch from a distance yeah like you just grab your little popcorn and you just go oh yes hmm. but I'm not I'm not very good at drama I think I take it too personally I'm just like it affects me a bit which is my own problem obviously but yeah I'm a bit like oh no I don't want people to be upset I want them to all be happy and excited so that's obviously not really something I can ever have make happen in the world so it's probably just my thing to deal with but yeah there's that um, da, 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 da. I would buy Fader now so he doesn't triple the price on you. Um, all Sonic has like double in price in a year. Yeah, I know. I think to be honest, he's already like, I'm already too late. Like getting anything at a bargain is pretty much impossible. So I'll just have to wait out to hope that Ben's brother is ever willing to sell it to me. But it would, don't get me wrong, so it would be really nice to own them, but at the same time, if I can't find them at the right price, then I don't really want them either, because I'm just unwilling to pay, like, the same amount as Diagon Alley for the Orthanc Tower, which is much smaller. I know it's tall, but it's obviously not the same amount of bricks. Um, also, so far, I've never paid more than £5. Uh, no, that's a lie, I've once paid £7 for Alice, but that was partially because it was in a used Lego shop and I wanted to support them. But overall, I never been more than five pounds for a Lego figure because there are like in my head sort of like boundaries to how how much I can pay for certain things, and not because I can't afford it. It's just that like when I'm spending twenty five pounds on one minifigure, I'd rather buy like a little set that's like a little fun project. Like I found out about myself when I started being a Lego collector that I'm not a completionist, which has aided me loads in not spending too much money. I'm still spending lots of money, don't get me wrong, but I'm spending on like full sets. So yeah, I have some boundaries that occasionally I will break because. Any good rule gets broken occasionally, but I have some boundaries set up for myself that I feel like my comfort zone is somewhere. And I think everybody in a collecting hobby will have some like, oh, I prefer this line, so I'm happy to spend up to this high amount on that line because it's really dear to me, but like, I don't really care about that line, so I won't really get there. So I think a lot of people have like boundaries like that in collecting because especially like with things like Lego, it's, 
it's nearly infinite how much money you can pay on this so you kind of have to have some boundary set up because otherwise you just go around off the rails um but yeah let me know how you guys like manage like have you got like little rules around what you're happy spending on or like have you got like a wish list of like like how do you manage like a budget even if that's in a loser's term of sense of the term but how do you how do you think about these things <laughs> Bricks are still here, I'm just building them up and so very concentrated. That's totally fine. I'm to generally a lurker in streams. I just say hi and then I tend to be in the background a lot. Um, but thanks for checking in. <laughs> I really want to have a Sesame, strap, a set, Sesame Street set. I love it. Yes. I think it looks really cute. I would really like it. I think my priority at the moment is getting the blacksmith because I like that building more. But I really want the Sesame Street figures because they're really adorable. Dallin says, plus the smaller sets are easier to display in store. Yes, yes, isn't that just the truth? <laughs> so true. Which is your most favorite Lego set? Oh my God, that's such a difficult question. Oh God, my favorite. I don't, I don't know if I can choose like one favorite, but like, I feel like the, my favorite from the Harry Potter line is Diagon Alley at the moment of the ones that I've... No, I don't think it is Diagon Alley. I think it's the big Hogwarts because I'm just the most fond of that. I, that's a set that I bought before I got back into Lego. Um, I bought it with like my first... When, how did I get it? Oh yeah, because I just started a new job and for a, for one month I was paid double and with like the extra money I bought Hogwarts like as the Lego set and it was such a... like a celebration of me getting a new career and it was all very exciting and I... It's such a nice standalone set as well. So I think the micro build Hogwarts possibly at the moment springs to mind is one of my favorites. Um, but with anybody, I think my opinion on what's my favorite changes. And it also depends on like what form, but at the moment, the Hogwarts is very special to me. Um, let's just say I'm happy I got the Lego Miles Morales exclusive for $870 versus what it's going for now. Wait, 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 wait. You didn't spend $875 on a minifigure, right? I need, I need context. Bronx, where is the context? <laughs> I need to know more. I know there are some really, really expensive Lego figures, but like, please tell me. Okay, now I have to get the Sesame Street set. It's true, the figures are cute and it's the only way to get them. Yeah, true, because I tried looking into like, if I should get the figures on their own. But getting the figures on the is more expensive, so you may as well just get the whole set. Plus, I think it looks really cute if you make it into a modular, so you can have like a small little building in a city, so... You know? What? Oh my god, for one minifigure? $870? Huh. Wow. I don't know what to say, Bronx. <laughs> I, I admire your dedication. I have to say that. But also, you're completely bonkers. <laughs> Damn. I know, I think everybody is just there like, what? <laughs> and that's a steal for now. So like, what does that go for now? Like two grand? Who pays that shit? What? I wish I found that on like a car boot sale. Gosh, wouldn't that be amazing? Probably wouldn't be. I'm assuming this is like a San Diego, San Diego Comic Con exclusive cancelled release or whatever, but yeah. That's what the hell. I'm high as Bezos. <laughs> okay, great, thanks, Tony. Um, I get that, we're working our way through the Brickhead series. <laughs> Uh, the Brickheads also have crazy prices, don't they? Like, they have occasionally, like, one that's just like, Oh, hi, I'm 200 million pounds. But I don't think any of the Brickheads cost $875, so... AV Bricks, if I'm wrong, do let me know. I'm sure you'll know. You're, you're collecting them all at the moment. That totally didn't blow my mind at all, guys. I'm totally still fine. <laughs> After that shocking news of the evening. I've decided to continue with the build um, as I am such a fantastic builder on stream and I get so much done. 
Right, here we go. Ooh, four of them. Lots of little stud. Marvel or DC would be the worst to be a completionist because everything is San Diego Comic Con exclusive. Yeah. I've seen some exclusives to be fair, and I'm really, really, really pleased that I found out that I'm not a completionist because, oh my god. Things, these the prices these things go for, and I guess being into Harry Potter is really helpful because they tend not to have too many like exclusives. And if they have some exclusive, they're not, so far they've never been like that exciting that I per se like needed to have them, so it's been all good. If you break maybe they don't individually, but collectively we spent over a thousand on them. On brickheads? Oh my gosh. That's, but at least it's collectively. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just clutching at strings here, obviously that's totally what I'm doing, but at least, at least it wasn't just all together. Look at that little bench in front, so cute. So nice. I like the little doorknob actually, that does really help with the, with the aesthetic. So cute. <laughs> Once made one pound offer for a ridiculously priced Mr. Gold on eBay, seller got mad at me for wasting their time. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, to be fair, that is a bit silly, but also, oh well, he probably, probably spent more time replying to you because he was mad than if you just ignored it, so hey, who is the real wi winner here? Christian says, okay, now I can probably say that my Lego purchase decisions aren't that crazy. Thanks, Bronx. <laughs> so if you ever have a partner that's like, excuse me, why are you spending this, so much, this much money on Lego? You're like, look, let me tell you, I know a guy spent $875 on a minifigure, so I'm totally normal. <laughs> oh man, thanks Brums. <laughs> Annoyed because I could have had it for around 500 when it first hit, because you know $500, such a normal price to pay for minifigures. <laughs> oh my gosh. Are you finishing this on the stream? Love your channel. Thank you so much, Ben. Um, I don't know, at this rate, I think I will actually. I think I'll be I'll be finishing this on stream. I'm making good enough progress because there just isn't that much to do on these. So that is always nice. Also, can I ask, those old flower pieces, which way round do you guys put them on the on the little sp sp springy springs? Because I put them essentially upside down on because I think that looks more finished, but I wonder, I wonder what the general consensus is. So I put them on like this. I don't think you can see that well enough. But um, in the instructions, it tells me to do it the other way around. But I don't think that looks very nice. I need to know all the deep Lego questions. Damn it, comment was too long. I won't allow me to edit, lol. Oh, that's annoying. I'm sorry. <laughs> Question, Diagon Alley and a large Harry Potter castle are both $400. Thoughts and pros and cons of having one over the other. Ah, Matthew. Well, I have some thoughts. Hogwarts set, gorgeous set, in the, like will look beautifully on display. If you have this, just sit somewhere on display, it's perfect. But it is a bit of an awkward shape to have it on display somewhere because it has a few sticky outfits. So you will have to have a decent amount of space. And also because it's micro scale, it doesn't like blend in with any other like my, uh, mini fig skill sets. So it's much more of a like a display standalone set. Whereas Diagonelli is obviously minifig skill, so it's much more, it could be much more of a playset. Oh, thank you so much, Bronx. <laughs> didn't think I didn't hear you swear. Swear, Jardination. <laughs> Did I swear? I didn't even notice. Oh, God. Thank you, though. Um, so, Diagonelli, because it's minifig scale, um, it is a bit, it could be seen as more of a playset, but it does display really well as well. So, I think it's just much more like, what is your aesthetic? Do you want to blend this maybe into your city at some point? Do you want to maybe mock it? Because both Diag Diagonality is more mockable if you want to like add your own touches. It blends in with like existing Lego sets more if you have a city. But like the Hogwarts is a beautiful standalone set and comes with some fantastic figures because I really love the four founders. So personally, if you have like, if you're more into like the, the Star Wars busts, helmets, things, um, like the billable figures, all that kind of stuff, you're probably gonna enjoy the Hogwarts more because it's more of a standalone thing. But if you want to add it to a city, then definitely Diagon Alley. Ideally, I'd say both because they're really different and it's hard to compare because they both have their merits because they're so opposing. But 
I love them both, but I think Hogwarts just has a special place in my heart because I got that first. Um, and if I ever, but if I ever get like a bigger city, I'll probably try and blend in di diagonally with the city because that'd be amazing. Hope that helped. Long blabble. Um, just bought 10 time late time guard play bags for $150. Wow! <laughs> they do look really cool, I have to say. Gosh, you're the people that buy all the things when I want them. Now I know. When I, when I ever look at things, I'm like, who are, who are these people buying these things? Now I know who they are. Um, but Bronx says, but yes, that $875 minifig is now about 1500 to 2K. Wow. Oh, it should have been the San Diego Grubber Comic exclusive last year. Fair enough, I guess that didn't go ahead. He said Lego partnered with Sony for a giveaway for those that break the that beat the PS4 game last year. That's such a like specific thing to do. Gosh. I bought the white Boba Fett for $80 four years ago and I, uh, and I thought that was insanity. I stand corrected, my friends. <laughs> I think anybody that's ever spent a crazy amount of maybe figure ever feel, now feels justified in their, in their choices. <laughs> I love it. Um, flat side up, but I know what you mean with the little centre part. Yeah, I do this flat side up, but I've just seen in this um, in this instruction that evidently that is apparently upside down according to Lego. But these are obviously the old um, the old flowers that I don't love. I am planning on mocking the outside of this quite a lot by adding like more flowers and like more detail because I think the outside could do with quite a lot more like lovely detail. So. Well, let me just, I know there's also a few flower pieces missing. He did warn me about that, but I was like, not that worried. Cause like the flowers are probably the easiest thing to replace. So um, I am prepared, but so far there seems to be like most of them. Um, maybe I should add the red one. If we are going to run out, I probably should add red first. Ah, I think, I think I have flower pieces, maybe not the stems. We'll have to find out. Actually, so far I have all of them actually. Oh. Where does this go? This goes here. Something do you next sometime do you next time um you at Universal and they're visiting Harry Potter Land for Bin Journey Ride is tons of fun. I want to go so much. Stop telling me how awesome it is. I want to go, I promise. If I ever have the chance to go, I will go. I will also let people know that I'm going, so we can do a meet-up, because that would be so much fun. Ah, uh, this is what they said. He's missing a little flower of this. Fair enough. Du -du 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 -du. Which site in San Diego Comic Cons are those bronze? The most I've spent on a figure is the OG Cloud City for $150. Damn. This set is so lovely. I need it now. Starts looking on Brickling for it. There was a few, like, um, for sale, to be fair, and because it's... I think this is such an easy set to justify as well because it's not only it's such a like iconic location both in the Hobbit and the Lord of the Rings. It's just so easy to go. Look, I need it. It's fine. It's bag end. Like talking about like Hogwarts bag end, same vibe, you know, same status. So yes, Ali, you need it. That's right. <laughs> um. I'll put a picture of mine in Discord. Oh yes, please do. I'm super, super curious now, wrong. So I'm very excited to be looking at that later. Join us, become a member if you want to have access to the Discord and chat to us. Hashtag shameless self plug. But I, I really, actually, I've been really enjoying the Discord. I'm like I'm sharing mocks and also, it's cost me money though, because people are sharing Lego deals. So now I have to buy things that come up. <laughs> Clever Dad, hello, welcome to the stream. If Lego designers came to you and asked you to choose one new Harry Potter set and a new Lord of the Rings set, what would they be? Ooh, okay, Lord of the Rings, Lost Lorien, without a doubt, has to have to have that. That came to my mind first. I want more Elven sets, I want more pretties, so 100% a Lost Lorien tree mock, like similar to like the tree house, but like Lost Lorien style, so like really fine and detailed and gorgeous. Failing that, probably like an extended Rivendell, but Lothlorien, please. I need more Elven things. And then, um, so that was easy. 
Minas Tirith would be cool as well, but I feel like to really capture the awesomeness of Minas Tirith, you have to do the whole city, which I don't see happening ever. To, ever. Um, Harry Potter, Gringotts. I mean, these are Gringotts. I'm not gonna let this go. Um, but I would love like um, Grimmel Place, or ooh, what else would I really like? Do, 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 do. I think Grimmel Place would be really cool. I did think about some more before, but I can't remember off the top of my head. If you're a Harry Potter Lego fan, drop in the chat what you really want to get. I am curious. There you go. Um, <laughs> when you don't notice the typos in your comment until it's bread on the world stage and you get embarrassed. <laughs> it's okay, I do have cake bricks. I'm generally the person with the typos, don't worry. Um, choose others. I would. I won the Nazgul with Eowyn, Witch King, or the Oliphant with Aima. Do you know Lego Lockmark um, cheese on top 17? Because his mocks are awesome and he has an Oliphant mock that I really want. And also um, Martin Lego Design has done a really cool um, Nazgul that looks fantastic. So yes, really recommend those. Um, some of his mocks are on my list. I am actually saving together with Ben. This has been Ben has been investing in this, guys. Can I just say, well done, Ben. Um, we are going to be building the Martin Lego Design Sauron statue, which I think is about this big, and it's like Sauron and Gor Gorgoroth. I'm probably saying that wrong, but you know, in the final battle with the Sildor and Gilgalad. Um, so I'm super excited for that because that thing looks amazing. So we'll totally be building that, but maybe not on stream because I'm anticipating it to be quite tricky to build. But that's definitely happening, happening and I'm super excited for it because it's just so beautiful. So there we have it. See, if you give up um, your master then you can use all the extra space to build and get your kitchen table back. <laughs> um, there we go. Whole Hogwarts and minifig skill, yes please, now. I mean, do I have the money to buy anything like that? No. Do I want it? Hell yeah. Obviously. Where where do I sign my money away, please? So, I swear, I feel like at this point I'm paying Lego directly, just like, why does my company even bother paying me a paycheck? Why don't they just transfer the money straight to Lego? I do not know. It seems to, it would probably save admin fees, to be honest. <laughs> the next box I want to make is of elves leaving um, Arda through the forest, like Gildor and the Rivendell elves. That would be cool. Yes, yeah, like the really ethereal scene. Or like the Great Havens would be awesome as well. So many, so many options. So many options. So many things I would like to do. I'm just like in my head, like going through like, what would I like to mock? I'd like to build like the party scene with the big tree where like, I feel like hmm, this is the second time I said Lord of the Rings with the tree, but I want to do like, also, oh, imagine just like the, um, oh, what's, what are they called? Like the Arana, whatever pronunciation they have like the statues that like protect the river. How cool would that be? Argonath? Is it Argonath? Um, statues, like, but like a proper skill, like in skill to like the minifig. So if you have like a tiny boat and like, like the massive statue, how cool would that be? They'd be the same height as like Orthanc, but just like statue. That'd be ace. Again, please, where do I sign? I want it now. Do, 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 do. Hold up, I'm just, I'm just trying to attach these whilst looking at this the wrong way. Why does this, does this work? No, I don't want me to attach this differently. Hold up, hold up, what? What have I done wrong? Oh, I've done that wrong. One moment, I've made a bull. I am back. I just put a brick on the wrong way. It's fine. It has now indeed been fixed. There we go. Um, 
I would love a big Ford Anglia. That'd be cool, actually. That's such an iconic car. I feel like they're doing quite a lot of iconic cars. Maybe we'll get that eventually. You went to the inside tour? Jealous? Yeah, we're all jealous, ODJ. I wish one day. One day. I had a look, actually. Last, I remember the very first time you were on my stream and you asked me that, and I was like, I feel like I've heard this term before, but I wasn't entirely sure, so I looked it up after the stream, and I was like, oh my god, yes, do I want to do this? It was what I thought it was, and I was like, oh my gosh, yes, please. Um, I know it will never happen, but I would love a small set of Harry and Dumbledore with um, White's King's Cross. That's... I think you're right in saying that that will never happen, but yes, that would be really, really cool. That would be really cool. One day. We can all dream, right? We can all dream. Have our little Lego hopes and dreams. But luckily, this is the great thing about Lego, and which is what makes me love it even more. Like, if there's something you really want, you can always make a mock yourself. Yes, it may not be quite in the same price range as if Lego just made a set of it, but you can just do it, and it's just so nice. A minute, what am I doing wrong? I'm not doing anything wrong, it's just a bit of an awkward thing to build. I'm just building the fence outside. And it starts to look a bit awkward, so I just have to pay attention to what I'm actually building in order to not do anything silly. Who am I kidding? I always do things silly. I still have quite a lot of bricks left, actually. I'm surprised. I felt like I was coming, was nearing the end, but evidently I was wrong. Okay. Um... Lol, I get you. I'm trying to get all Star Wars, Clone Wars, and Rebels figures right now. I'm one away from the Lord of the Hobbit too. Nice. Which is the one that you're still missing? I have to know. Um, cheese on top. OJ, you get to the staff shop at the end with 50% off. What? What? So you pay a fortune for the inside tour, and then also you pay another fortune in the shop because it's 50% off? Oh my god, I need to go. That's like... Yes, please? Okay, <laughs> I agree, direct deposit to Lego would be easier. <laughs> Johanna, you are not helping my love of the rings FOMO. Uh, I never said I would be helping. Oh, it's missing a bush. That's what it's missing. Now I know. I actually think I have a spare bush, so it's fine. One of those, um, one of these ones. Like the shrubberies. It's missing. But that's fine, it's fine. As I said, I was going to add more anyway, so it's cool. I'm not going to go into any in the window comments because that would just be so childish. <laughs> um, I think someone has made Argana. Um, I have seen an insane size Erebor. Do you know of the Fancy Bricks channel? He makes mocks. Yes, I have seen Erebor actually. I've seen an insane sized... Um, I've seen an insane, insane size Orphank as well with like the, the ends attacking it. Um, Ethan was saying that he'd seen that um, in person and it looks awesome. And I'm totally not jealous in any way at all. Um, no, totally, totally fine with that. I would have loved to see that. Um, but yeah, there's so many awesome Lord of the Rings mocks that, I've, that have been done over the years. I think there's a whole diorama like Lego Lord of the Rings has a really dedicated adult fan base that evidently have a lot of money to spend on awesome stuff, so it's so cool. What if you worked for Lego as part of the community team and payment uh, was room and board of availability to build any set you wanted? I think I'd rather... I definitely am like a person that would want to own the sets when I build because I find it really difficult to like dis disassemble them as well, so I feel like I feel like that's possibly like a thing that somebody that's really good at mocks would like to do because that, at that point you have like infinite bricks at your disposal. But I feel like I wouldn't be able to live somewhere and not be able to take my mo like not have them basically at the end of them. Though I would love that just to give, get a chance at like actually trying a good mock with like... If I had like infinite bricks available I would try and do like a proper mock. Obviously I've done a few bits but like I don't really think like I've done proper mocks. Du, 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 du. I couldn't keep up with Star Wars as Bronx, no. We've all seen how dedicated Chris is at keeping up at Star Wars and that seems an expensive hobby so considering you're willing to pay that much on many figures maybe it's more sensible for you to stay away from that. Um, mocks rule. Mocks rule! <laughs> um, 
I'd really like a cave scene when Harry and Dumbledore are going to get the Horcrux. Yes, that would be really cool actually, Patrick. Sure. Very good point. I'd love to see what they do with the crystal middle bit. Um, that would look really cool, I reckon. Right, let me just turn this thing around. And then we're going to go to more building for interiors. Um, it became too repetitive for me. I'm assuming Star Wars, yeah, because that is very repetitive. Bit too dark for Lego, that I think, Purple Shroom. Yeah, I agree. But then also, they. What they what is too dark for Lego seems to be relatively fluent, considering what other things they've done. Like they literally did the high ground scene with like Anakin and like Why is his name not coming to my head now? Are you kidding me? You're probably all screaming at the at the screen, but you know what I mean, like that was fine for Lego apparently. But obviously I guess yeah, that's literally dead bodies bodies in the water, but hey. Um, honeymoon at the Lego Tower, Bronx, that would be so great, uh, I'm totally down for that. The only thing is that I feel like the honeymoon is for two people, not just for one. <laughs> Originally, we really, really wanted to go to Japan um, for honeymoon because that's like a big holiday and we haven't really been on a big holiday. And we also would really like to go to Universal, but at this point, we're probably just gonna have a few days after the wedding where we're just going to go to like a cottage somewhere in the UK because I don't think travel is going to be really easy. So maybe we'll go for like a 10 year anniversary honeymoon sometime in the future and like actually save up for it. Oh look! The red book has its own little stand by the window. How adorable. That's so cute. That's so cute. I love this set. It's so pretty. Um, whomever, was it Raymond? You should totally get Lord of the Rings sets. They're just so beautiful. The detail, great. Go buy it now. Huh. Hmm. I'm missing a brick. Unless I'm, unless I put it somewhere. Possibly put it somewhere wrong. But I'm missing a brick that holds this writing thing. So I'm just gonna put it in a temporary spare brick here. So, hold up, hold up people, I'm improvising on stream, always a scary moment, there we go. Um, the one Lord of the Rings figure I'm missing is a little underworlding, um, a Gundabad orc with a different face wind. Ah, okay, yeah, that is a bit boring, I'm sorry, <laughs> but fair enough, if you're, if you're getting them all, essential, still need to get that. What's your favourite minifigure? Actually, guys, from your main theme that you're like a fan of, what is your favourite minifigure? Because I always find that quite interesting to hear from people. Because there's lots of different ones. What's it, why is it, what is your favourite and why is it your favourite? Um, Kenobi, but yeah, yeah, that's it, Kenobi. <laughs> but yeah, Star Wars is PG, Harry Potter was not. <laughs> of course I know him, he's neat. <laughs> Um, I've posted the picture under um, hole. Oh, thanks, OBJ. Awesome. Ben would love it, no? <laughs> I mean, yeah, Ben would love... I think Ben is that type of person that if it made me really happy, he'd quite happily go with me. Um, and he'd probably like seeing it as well, but obviously it wouldn't hold the same amazingness to him as it does to me. Um, but one day, one day, ladies and gentlemen, I'm planning on doing a lot of things. Um, there is a list of things I will buy one day, there's a list of things I'll travel to one day, but especially travel right now just feels like such a long, long-term plan anyway. I should probably turn this around so you can actually see what I'm building. Actually, status update. Outside I think is mostly finished. It feels actually much more like detailed than like pictures look, but it's quite cute. There's some like, there's some like flowers, there's like really cute fence, and then the inside we're just starting to add some details. And so far, again, like, to me, I always find this, but it's actually nice, it's even nicer in person. So again, Omega Man, you should get the set. Um, <laughs> I'm 100% sure that Ben w would also love the tour for your honeymoon after all. By marrying you, he's marrying Lego, right? <laughs> I don't think when we got engaged and realised that what he's in for, but evidently yes, I think you have a very sensible point. <laughs> uh, so 
funny. Mmm, good question. Love Deadpool as a cowboy. That's very specific, Bronx. Snape. Snape is a good minifigure, to be fair. Snape is a boggard. Yes, yes. I still need to get that set that was um, exclusive to, I don't know, Toys R Us or whatever. Um, where that, when we have him like as a re-release. I used to own Snape as a boggard from like the Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban brain. Woo! From ages ago. That was some drama now, wasn't it? Rather, or some drama now, wasn't it? Don't worry guys, I never cease to fail to entertain. I never cease to entertain. Where did this come from? Oh no. Oh no. The carrot. Not the carrot. No, seriously, where did this come from? Oh, I know. From underneath. There we go, it's all fine. I fixed it. Right. Um General Mayhem. She's the mini doll, but her hair is out of this world. Ooh, I don't know her actually. That sounds that sounds cool though. I like the, the friends type mini doll things come with some excellent hair pieces to be fancy. Now I need to look that up. CMF series two Dumbledore, my favourite book character, I love Richard Harris as him. Love his costume, amazing mould, and Fawkes accessory. Yes, yes, I totally agree. I think surprisingly, the minifigure of Minerva McGonagall in the Hogsmeade set is currently my favourite. But I think that's mostly because I wasn't expecting her to be as good as she is. Like, I just love the detail she comes with. Like, her printing on her... I'm just still not over it. It's just so good. So, I think she's possibly winning for me at the moment. But, you know. I tend to change quite a lot. My favourite figure of the Lord of the Wings ones that I own, which isn't that many, I think currently it's probably Elrond. I really like him. Elrond from the Rivendell set because his printing is just so amazing. So possibly for now, I think that's the one that I like the most. But I have plenty that I really like, so right. This goes, close that door again. This goes here. And apparently there's a shovel. Oh, wait, no. Good here. And there's a shovel in there, apparently, which I don't have, so that's fine. That's just, that seems a weird accessory to add. Then we have some maps that we're going to be adding. One of Erebor. And one of... The Shire? Yep, yeah, one of the Shire. That will go right here. And then there's a stud. Yeah. And then the map here. There we go. Um, <laughs> Ashoka, always, because she's awesome. Is there a specific version of her that Lego's done that you like the most, Ali? Even as a non Star Wars fan, her minifigure is awesome, I have to say. And everything I've seen about her is really cool. So, yeah, I can totally see why people like her. Good question. Love Deadpool as a coward. Oh, I said that. Sorry. Oh, it's because my chat's not scrolling. That's why. I'm. Oh my gosh. Sorry, I'm behind. Uh, Gandalf the White, my favourite movie, awesome character lore, and wonderful execution by Lego. By Leggy. <laughs> Leggy. Yes. Yeah, I think it's cool. I really want, I mean, admittedly, I want all of them. I really like the design for Grim Worm Town. I really like the design for uh, the Mouth of Sauron, um, which I have to say, not very accurate to what he probably is in the book, per se, but hey, he looks really cool. <laughs> Um, I want some ring weights as well. I want Boromir, because I think his design is beautiful. Guys, I just want them all. That's what I'm saying here. Yeah. They're just great. But the elves are probably my favourite. I have um, Galadriel, which I think is really cool as well. I just think because she's based on the one from The Hobbit, she's like slightly lower on my list. Also, I don't like that her arms are bare. It just doesn't feel very Galadriel to me. I feel So I've changed in my second figure of her that I have that still doesn't have her hair. Um, I gave her white arms because I just felt that was more appropriate. I don't know. To me, that just looks nicer. But hey, she has a sparkling cape, apparently. So there was that. Um, ooh, so far, we have all the actual flowers. So pretty good. I'm just missing that shovel, actually. The shovel and the bush. But that doesn't seem too bad. That doesn't seem too bad at all. Um, Snape is a good nickname for him. Have a 
snaps. <laughs> have a lot. I love from. Uh, I have a lot of from a lot of themes that I love, but it, partial to Davy Jones and the Pirates of the Caribbean because his unique look, mold and his exclusive these days. Yeah, he does look really good to be fair. Like that black pearl had some fantastic minifigures, and in a way that makes me want like the. Um, that makes me want the like old pirate sets even more. I did. I mean, I'm not a massive pirates fan, but. I was I really enjoyed it when it was like a thing, you know, that everybody's watching when it was like in its heyday. Really like it was really fun. I had a friend who was really into um Ooh, and I'm missing a, a cherry. And I, I had a friend who was really into um Johnny Jack John, Johnny Jack. Great Hannah. Johnny Jack as well, so like I watched quite a lot of his films. I really liked Cry Baby actually, that was quite a fun movie to watch. So yes. Glow in the Dark had Severus Snape of old school. I used to have quite a few of them actually. I know that I'm gonna have some soon. Um, Snaps is a good nickname for him. Have a lot of love. Oh, sorry, I've just read that, sorry. Um, and the astronauts, because I'm big into space. Spaceship! Spaceship! Um, <laughs> it wasn't um, another exclusive. Not so much the planets, but the great beyond the general. Uh, but the great beyond and general mystery of the galaxy. Oh, I don't know what I'm referring to. General Mayhem is from the Letting Movie 2. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Like the one that has like the helmet phages and then like she reveals to be a maidol. Because in that case, I know who you're speaking to. Speaking to? Who you're speaking about? She's on top selling doom. Have you played any of the Lego videos games and seen some of the characters? Lego has a maid like Alfred from The Hobbit. Yes, yes, I have indeed. Not really played them, but I have seen them. Um, the reason I haven't played them is because I, I'm really, really bad at it. Um, I have no sense of... Um, like, I just can't work out the spatial awareness for it. I'm just not very good at it. But I have the Harry Potter one, at least. So I've done some things. Um, oh, I found the bit that I was missing earlier for the, for the feather writing bit. Oh, no. Oh no, getting it out is a tricky one now. I've lost my train of thought to what I'm talking about, so do remind me in the comments. But, yes, I need. Ooh! Come on, feathery feather. Come on, feathery feather. We can do it. There we go. Guys, I did it. This is for um, a dwarf that I have upstairs that I need to give back to him. I think I need to put this here. That's what I forgot. Have I forgot anything else? Oh yeah, I forgot to put this apple in this this thing here. And that's it. That's all I forgot. Right, we're moving on to the roof already. Fantastic. Da -da 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 -da. Why do you love Lego so much? <laughs> uh, escapism. It's fun. It's it's colourful, it's a fun hobby to share with people, it's, uh, I don't know, I don't think there is really a logic to it in that sense, but it's just, it's like any hobby, it just gives me a lot of joy and I like miniature things, so yeah, I think that's the most comprehensive answer I can give to that. It's a bit like explaining what love is, you know, can't do that, I love, this is a hobby I fell into. <laughs> um, hello from Florida, I love your videos and just got the Hagrid's hut set. Awesome! Hello Christopher Black, excellent name as well, very Harry Potter on point, I'm sure you hear that a lot. Um, yes, I, Hag the newest Harry Potter set of the Hagrid set because that is a fantastic set, I love it very dearly. I may have mocked it into another set but it's very good. Um, <laughs> Don and Jeff. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> wow, Crybaby, it's a movie I haven't heard it of for a while. I know, it's... I don't know. I remember, basically, that friend was really... You know when you get, like, a massive celebrity crush? I think it must have been, like, 12 or 13. Not 12, like, 13 or 14. And um, we actually went on holiday. It was the first time I went on holiday with other people. And we went, I went with them to the south of Spain because that's where Johnny Depp lived. And in hindsight... That's a bit weird, 
But also at the same time, we just stayed in the camping and it was really fine. And I think one day we went driving to see if we could see his house. And we don't, I, we may have seen it, but we weren't sure. Um, I wasn't like, I liked his movies, but I didn't really, um, but I didn't really like obsess about him as she did. But in hindsight, it was a bit weird that we went driving through the hills with his parent, uh, with her parents. But um, yeah, I guess hindsight. However, it was really fun and we listened to Vanessa Parody, like French music whilst in France and we ate lots of ice cream and it was the first time I'd been that far away from home so it was it was still a good memory. But yeah, it was it was a strange time because it was the first time I was away from my family like for that long as well. Come on, am I actually missing a part or am I just blind as anything? Because there are definitely an option I am. Hmm. I think I'm missing a 2x3 green plate for there. That's okay, I will find it later. So any, can, you guys, whoop, can you guys hear um, my laptop taking off? Because it's very loud. Narnia would be awesome. Mm -hmm, like post with Mr. Tumnus, the white witch carriage. Oh my god, yes, yes, yes. I would love Narnia but, uh, Lego. That would be amazing. I do really like Narnia as a franchise. Um, I doubt we will get any at this point. However, that would be really cool. I'd definitely be down for that. For sure. And also because there'd be some... Actually, the, um, the CMF um fawn that they did some years ago works really well as mr if, as mr terminus if you give him a little scarf so um i've done that for sure da -da -da. train of thought was spatial awareness <laughs> i did catch it um are you caught up on the loki train johanna uh no it's still still at episode one i've still only watched episode one um, also partially because it's been so warm this week that we didn't really want to sit on the sofa watching a show like we were just trying to find coolness but yeah, maybe I'll catch up. I'm not too worried about finding spoilers, to be honest. That spoilers don't really spoil things for me, so I don't mind. Um, so yeah. Any chance to get sick fig in your city? Um, I can't promise anything, but if you leave the parts to your sick fig in Discord, I will add them to like a wish list, and if I get them, then I can just like slowly put it together, but I can't promise anything. Um, but I do like adding sick figs, so just send me the parts that you use on the Discord. Hi, I'm the figure who? I love Bagend, I'm so jealous. It is a really cool set. Also, hi, welcome to the stream. Hi, people, working and lurking. Hello, Tommy Rich, good to see you here. Hope you're doing well. Um, little tea and biscuits there, just lurking in the background with work. <laughs> uh, I prefer Benny and June when it, comes, um, when it comes to the old Johnny Depp films. I don't know if I've seen that, if that doesn't remind me. I've seen 21 Jump Street, like the series he was in ages ago. I've watched Chocolate a lot. I used to be obsessed with that movie when I was a kid. Well, not a kid, like a teenager, you know, that time of my life. Um, but as I said, I kind of only watched these things. I was introduced to them because my friend was really into them. So, and I was like a friend of hers, so I just like watched them with her. So yes. Right. See, I get quiet when I'm trying to concentrate on building quick as well. This is just why. I'm a great YouTuber. Yes, I am excellent at building and entertaining at the same time, evidently. There we go. Um, <laughs> oh my gosh, I love Narnia. They need Narnia Lego. Yes, we should have like a nice, like a big wardrobe, you know, like so they can go through that, like all the real, really cute side characters. Johanna, do you have a PO box? I don't, I don't. I have been asked a few times now, but I haven't. Basically, they cost quite a lot to maintain, so I don't know. It's a bit of a cost at the moment, doesn't seem to be justifiable really, but maybe one day. Maybe someday. I need to stop watching this many TikToks, they're stuck in my head now. For anybody that knows what I'm talking about, you're also watching too many TikToks slash Instagram reels, so yeah. Hold up, what the, what is going on here? Is that correct? 
correct? I think it may be. I think that may be. Right. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Bronx says, not yet. Thank you for asking, answering that. PO Box would be lovely. I would love to send help. <laughs> yes, it'd be nice to have something I can actually like have a close up. I'm sorry. One day, I keep saying that I will do these things, but they're just like expenses, you know? I could like, buy things or for the webcam, or I could like get more Lego. It's a, it's a tough trade off to make. It really is. Also, I don't like spending money on like um, tech stuff because it's always just kind of like, I'm always kind of just using what I have, but you know, to be fair, I need to start like doing some more quality improvements for you, for you guys sake, so you can actually see what I'm doing. That'd be probably a sensible thing to do. One day, one day. Right, let me just add these to on. Can you see I'm trying to go quick? I'm also really warm. Despite all our precautions and trying to stay cool, I am absolutely sweating. It's so very warm. Maybe detail you didn't necessarily need to know, but oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Ooh. Ooh, it's emptying quickly. You're the best Lego vlogger. I will recommend the channel to my friends. Oh, thank you so much, AK's Adventure. That's really nice. And that would be really helpful because, yeah, my channel is tiny at the moment, so please do. Um, I do like making little vlogs and taking you guys across the country. It's like little... Because I love, like, adventuring and going to, um, to places like I showed in my latest vlog. So I just really wanted to take you guys along because I know some of you really appreciate, like, the footage of the English rolling hills and stuff, so... That is always fun to share. This roof is an interesting design. With interesting, I mean I've not yet decided if I like it or not. It's very, it's very rounded at the edges in a, in sort of an interesting, quite sharp way. Yes. Netflix is doing a Narnia reboot. Oh really? Maybe there's hope for a Lego to step in. Oh gosh. Yeah, I guess Narnia was first owned by, the first two were, Dis uh, were Disney and then the second one was 20th Century Fox, I think, which obviously now also is Disney, but at the time was still separate. So maybe, even if Disney owned a ride still, then they could have done that, but they don't because they, um, they weren't quick enough. So Disney sold the film rights to 20th Century Fox. And then, um, oh, I found the piece that I thought was missing, guys, see? It's all fine. So yeah, Disney sold the rights to 20th Century Fox, because like, the line of Witch in the Wardrobe did quite well, but then um, Prince Caspian didn't do as well as they wanted. Like, it still made him a lot of money. It just wasn't like that much. Oh, thank you, MK Breaks. Thank you so much <laughs> for high tea tech. <laughs> Everything's just going to be branded high tea. <laughs> um, so, yes, uh, they just didn't make him as much money. So, they sold it to 20th Century Fox and they made Forage of the Dawn Treader, but then they just waited to there was plans to adjust like to adopt the um, magician's nephew as well however they were too slow and then their film rights expired and then that was it so sad times for all of us looks like i missed a step oh no that's just the brick just needs to go one over it's fine i had done it correctly uh sorry i'm just second guessing myself but i actually done it correctly all good Interesting seeing Corsham from somebody else's point of view. <laughs> yes, I do really like Corsham. We um, we actually went there to maybe look into, like, if we wanted to move sort of, like, to that area. Because where we are at the minute, we're a bit... I don't know. We can't actually move at the minute anyway, but we're just kind of scoping it out to see if we liked it there. But we're not sure. We don't... At the minute, everything's up in the air with Ben losing his job and stuff anyway. So we it will be super dependent on whatever he finds and how our situation changes. But we, um, we were just having a little snoop around. Because, you know, sometimes it's fun to have a little snoop around other places and finding out who lives there. And because Caution has such an excellent game shop, of like nerd shop with uh, the lovely Matt running that store, um, it was really lovely. Obviously that recommended it to us quite a lot. Wait, what bricks are added in this step? 
Hold up, hold up. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, this one goes one forward. This one goes behind it. Like that. Yes, and then that one goes there. And the light one goes there. Green. Where does this go then? Oh, huh, maybe nowhere. Who knew? I'm also from Florida, this is Abby the Brick, brick Squirrel. Squirrel! Um, good place. Very close to Harry Potter World, so um, obviously, again, no jealousy from me whatsoever. <laughs> um, nice late find. <laughs> I think Disney only really had their name on it, but weren't involved in making it. Yeah, they were just like, yeah, they bought all the rights to do it, but they didn't like... It wasn't like disney in that sense, I guess. Though it suits their brand quite well, with the whole Christian message and stuff. So. Do, 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 do. Wait, do you like Adventure Time, High Tea Toys? Yes, I do like Adventure Time. Um, the moment I hear that, obviously, the theme song starts playing in my head. But yes, I do really like Adventure Time. I think it's great. Um, definitely always cheers me up. So, I've been... I've had a chance to... Because um, I had a look at the... Uh, Lego idea set that they released for it, and it looks not the best but I kind of want it but what I also really want is the um, dimensions ones that they did because they look really cool and I would really love to add that to my collection so one day maybe I'll get Marceline and uh, Jake and Finn from the dimension set but I've not really found them second hand yet so that's probably why so far they've not been added to the collection but again one day one day it may happen This tree is bigger than I than it looks in the pictures as well. Everything in this set seems to just be slightly bigger than it seemed. It's still very square though, because it only uses three tree pieces, and that always just makes it slightly too, slightly too square. In my humble opinion, of course. Oh, I put that one the wrong way around. Hold up. I'm not checking the chat for now, but whoa! I knew this was going to happen. I had to focus. Right, this goes back. Where did you go? Like this. Ladies and gentlemen, here you can see somebody that's ruined in their Lego set really quickly. Okay, so let's go back one step. This sits there, this sits there. Then this sits here. Cool. And this is here. Okay. And then we add the four people. There we go. It's fine. I fixed it. Don't don't stress. Don't stress. I fixed it. Sorry, I got really into that building bit there, as you can see. Um, moving to Caution area the next week. Automatic toys and two toy shops that sell all the Lego in Melksham. I'm going to be very poor. Oh my gosh, are we just all moving to Caution now, guys? Is is it you that is buying all the houses there? Because they're just flying away so quickly. That's so funny. Plenty of houses in caution just built on top of the underground city. Ah, there we go. Yes. Probably out of our budget though, but <laughs> yes. I would love to, do, don't get me wrong, I'd love to move there. We don't live too far away, but um, we just kind of wanted to leave our current area because, I don't know, we're kind of ready for a change. And yeah, totally the fact that automatic toys existed. And I didn't know about the Melchon ones. So, um, Minifig Who, can you please tell me on Instagram which shops those are? Because I we go to that area quite a lot, so we obviously need to check them out. So that'd be great. Um, they have Lumpy Space Princess minifigure from Dimension 2. That's the one. Yes, yes, yes. I need those. I need those. Anybody find those on like secondhand stalls, let me know. Um, I will be buying those at some point. Five-year-old would love caution. He's currently obsessed with separating ham from separating ham from names of places and adding sandwich at the end. Core ham sandwich. <laughs> okay, I see where that's coming from. <laughs> uh, oh, to be young. Lol. Excellent. It's, it's a lovely place though, I really like it there. And there are such nice walks in the area and I, it's not too far from Bristol and from our friends and stuff. So, you know, there is lots that goes for it. But it's further from my work and I don't really want to commute 
500 years, so pros, cons, ev everything seems to come with those things, you know, it's just annoying. I just want easy choices, please, that would be great. I feel like I have too many bricks left over considering I'm now technically done with this set. Uh, okay, there's a few plant pieces missing from the top of this set as well. I wasn't quite finished. I spoke too early. There is actually still a light that I need to add. And then there needs to be two more plant pieces on top of it. But I have loads, like I have too many plant pieces anyway that I need to still add. So that's fine. That is fine. Again, he did say there was a few plant pieces missing. So there's currently a bush and two leaves missing but that seems really minor and i have some random bits left over i know i added some random bits to this but i guess i can add another carrot to this thing i'm sure i've missed some steps but there we go ladies and gentlemen i present to you bag end it's a good size set actually oh, it's really pretty I've, I've always been really concerned about the lack of interiors in this set, but actually looking at it, it's not that bad. Like, there's a lot of room for improvement, but it's not, like, it doesn't feel as lacking as it sometimes looks in photos. So, I think it also is partially because they added, like, random details here that have nothing to do with interiors. Like, they could have made, like, a nice sofa there or whatever, but, you know, as things go, not that bad. And the front is so cute. It's mine. It's so pretty. It's actually, honest, okay, I say this a lot and I'm doing a bit of an early review because I will be making a separate video on this because lots of thoughts on this, but um, it's bigger in person than I thought it's going to be. And it's actually pottery in person as well. And that's even lacking two of the um, leaf pieces on top of here. So it's so nice. Also look at the back guys. This is bring back memories. Look at that! Look how well timed this is. The battery's flashing at me. I think I'm gonna have to wrap it up here. I will be reviewing this up possibly not next week, but a week after probably. But it's all coming. Thank you so very, very much for being here, guys. The battery's flashing, so it's time for me to go. I finished the set. I hope you have a fantastic evening. I look forward to chatting with you on your Discord if you're members. Don't forget to like the stream, please. That massively, massively helps. And I will see you all tomorrow in my next video because there's a new video coming. So we'll see you soon. How do tot seems? Bye. It's so pretty. Right. Bye bye bye. Cheerio. Good stream. Bye bye. <laughs>